the thing that stands out in most people's memory on the Mercury program was the worry about the astronaut being safe if we had to fire that rocket and pull the capsule away from a booster that was going to be blown up. While I was working for NASA and assigned to an office at Patrick Air Force Base, not at the Cape, my wife found a house in, in Indian Harbor Beach. I discovered that my neighbor was Colonel Harry uh, Cannon. And nice guy, very nice guy. But he was responsible for all of the safety people who pushed the button to blow up erratic hardware. And we had a very heated discussion. And Harry said something about, you know, they might have to blow up the mercury capsule. And I said, you'd never do that with a man in it. And they said, yes. He said, yes, we would. He said, as far as we're concerned, the man is not as, as important as the community. And he said, our duty, our Air Force duty, is to protect the, the community. He said, I'll let you stand in the range safety control area behind my safety man. And if he's going to reach for the button, he'll look back up at you and nod, and you'll have about five seconds to tell Chris Kraft, who was the Mercury launch director, to push his button and abort the spacecraft off the booster, save the astronaut. Fortunately, we never had to exercise the loop. That was, in my opinion, one of the most startling things that I worked with, which ended up in me being a very big participant in the launch of the uh, first Mercury Redstone uh, with Al Shepard on it. I'm Tom Curry, and what I've just shared with you is one of the untold stories from the Rocket Ranch.